All right there, Revenants, welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, where today we have a bit, uh, well, again, these all these are going to be the same, so um, I'm going to introduce this again. Um, so today we are going to be looking at the Warped Blade and the Argent Wolf brand. Um, these two, well, these are two very heavy weapons, uh, the Argent Wolf brand especially, and all of the two-handed swords, you know, they're pretty slow weapons. But uh, today we're going to investigate how to uh, make them kind of fast weapons. And it all has to do with this pattern right here. So attack, attack, whoops, I messed it up. It's very hard to get. Once you get the chain going, it's very, very fun. And you and Louis twitching and you can apply some status effects very, very fast. So it's attack, attack, whoops. There it is. Okay, I was getting it there for a second. Um, so, attack, attack, whoops, oh man, I'm messing it up. It's attack, 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 whoops, and I messed it up. So you can see that if you go for just the first basic attack, uh, over and over and over and over, uh, you can actually do some crazy things. Now, the cool thing is about the first attack is that it strikes the ground. So if we get up to this guy, whoops, and we get slapped in the face. Oh, uh, so you can see that if we... If we get the first strike on these guys, we will stagger them over and over and over and over. Okay, whoops, and there's a backstab. So that is the uh, goal that we are going to be going for here, is to uh, do the first strike with the weapon over and over and over. Whoops, okay, well, there we just messed it up. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I am not executing this uh, very well for you. Okay, take this. And since we have Louie with us as well, we are going to be able to uh, have double Firestorm, which is awesome. So attack, attack, attack. Okay, and let's see. One, two. Whoops, and I keep messing up that second one. It works better if you walk backwards. Whoops. But you need to uh, make sure that nobody else is around. And as you can see here, we are getting, uh, you know, assaulted from all sides. So let's see here if we can uh, attack. There we go. There was three in a row. It's, it's really hard to get the timing of when the weapon strikes the ground when you have the ability to do another strike and how much stamina you actually have so continue holding uh oops continue holding uh the reverse direction of the enemy there we go that was better i got four in a row there um and let's get this going and it's really difficult to uh keep it uh continually um Oh, I guess I, I guess I killed the guy be, behind me and I wasn't even trying to. Okay, so whatever. Um, so keep that in mind as you're going uh, about this build set here. And the cool thing is, it whoops, is that. Um, the very, very, very cool thing about this is that the amount of strikes in between uh, each of the sets, if you get the full string of attacks off in one go, um, then you will have exactly enough time between serene stances. So let's see if I can pull this off with the large uh, lady upstairs. Um, and so because the serene stance is a 10 second cooldown, you have exactly enough stamina here with Ishtar to do 10 single strikes. And, and it's about 10 seconds, it's literally 10 seconds of time between the first time you start your attack to the end of the stamina bar with just enough time during that stagger and slow to make sure that you have serene stance. So if I can actually perform 
uh, this here, we should be able to show you exactly what this looks like. Okay, so one. Oh, okay. And we get slapped in the face. Oh. And I, <laughs> I just keep messing it up. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see if I can get it again here. It is, it is a very, very difficult string to do. However, because of the weapons, uh, single, single strike. Now this is a one handed, two handed sword. If you see here, we are holding the weapon with one hand, not with two hands. But if we switch to, uh, this sword, when we strike the ground, we are hitting it with two hands. Um, so this is like a real two handed weapon when this one, we strike the ground, we're a one handed weapon. So that's how you can know, uh, what the weapon strike is going to do this weapon. When it strikes the ground, it's a 90% multiplier. So we are actually losing 10% of our damage because this one strikes with both hands. We get a 100% multiplier. Uh, so it's much better damage overall. And so let's see if I can, uh, do it here with this one. Whoops, nope. And this one is just a slightly slower string. There we go. And I had just enough time uh, to get the Serene Stance off, and I got a full string there for you. Ooh, but that is really, really tough to be able to get that off. And if you want... Um, you're only off by about uh, 100 damage between the two because this has a 20% blood value on it uh, for the warp blade and this has no uh, no value modification because it is straight damage. Uh, so we'll, we'll play the rest of the level here with the uh, Argent Wolf brand. Now the uh, warp blade can be, whoops, uh, the warp blade can be uh, substituted by any other one-handed, two-handed sword. What I mean by that is the Queenslayer Greatsword. That's a 90% weapon as well on the first strike. The Black Greatsword, that is also a 90%. Thanks. That is also a 90% uh, strike on the first uh, attack. The Sunset Greatsword, same thing. Wrathful Balmung, same thing. And the Blanche Greatsword. The two-handed, one-handed, or the one-handed, two-handed swords are uh, the Argent Wolf brand, the Lost White Hander, the Azure Greatsword, um, the Judgment Edge, and the Judgment Edge is an upward strike, so you don't want to be using those. Uh, the Argent Wolf brand is a two-handed. Um, the Oni Bane and Nagimukuro, these are up-handed, up, uh, upward swings, so don't use these. And then the Zweihander as well is a two-handed, true two-handed on the 100% on the first strike. So uh, all that, all that doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless you are uh, actually trying these things yourself. Uh, so so get out there, get to the uh, punching bag and try out these uh, striking patterns and uh, it's really 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 interesting here how things go so here one there we go this uh, pattern is much slower than the uh, whoops this pattern for the true two-handed swords is much slower than the um, one-handed two-handed swords where you're getting the 90% multiplier but uh, you do have that extra 10% damage so if you are looking for a little bit of extra damage as you go along um, you know that is some way that you can actually uh, you know go for that extra damage value if you need to in any kind of way that you go about it okay so now we have uh, these guys, and because we have the, um, whoops, and because we have the, um, whoops, because we have Firestorm, we can stagger these guys, like, all the time. And this is, this is a really, really, really uh, difficult execution of a uh, moveset, so sorry for, you know, 
not being perfect at it whoops um but it is it is uh really 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 fun to do oops okay whoops hmm we're just uh, kind of slamming dudes around here. Thanks, Louis. I guess I guess Louis's on top of it here. So uh, there we go. There was three attacks. Okay, there was two. It's it's just so hard to get that uh, pattern down. Um, so if you're looking to do that, uh, you know. I really recommend it because it's awesome um, in how it uh, staggers these guys for unfortunately they die in two hits um, so that's a little bit upsetting but uh, these these uh, big ladies here whoops So you can see that uh, it adds a very, very, uh, whoops, a, okay, okay, we didn't hit that dog at all. Uh, it adds a very, very different layer to the already strange uh, combat mechanics of Vayne, and it uh, allows you, uh, whoops, it allows you a uh, very different, uh, <laughs> there's a stagger on the dog it allows you a very different uh, perspective in how you go about uh, engaging uh, with Vayne here is because uh, the first strike oh the first strike of your weapon is usually uh, really 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 important because it sets up like how you're gonna go about uh, engaging with the rest of the encounter with these enemies whoops okay and uh, having firestorm along for the extra stagger paired with the big weapon paired with precision and paired with everything we're we're doing here i mean this weapon is in kind of an end game weapon already um so we shouldn't really be you know expecting to uh struggle against these guys at all um but the crazy thing is is that um, we can uh, really, really, really uh, take these guys out very, very quickly and easily beca just because of the fact that we have an insane amount of, uh, uh, you know, attack pattern that we have built into our weapon set here. Very, very awesome and very, very fun to be able to uh, attempt this, to try this out and to uh, go for these kinds of attack patterns because these are not uh, normal attack patterns that anybody would ever go for. Whoops. Oh, well, that was super unfortunate there. I went for a launch attack and I didn't open the gate, but oh well. We will just uh, run this time and we will uh, carry, carry the invasion on our backs. So here we go. But if you're looking for a, a new fresh way to breathe life into some of these weapons that you typically don't have the ability to really understand, uh, you know, into the future. Whoops. Oh boy. There we go. Okay, let's heal. And now the invasion. So things are going to get really awful here. Yeah, take this. Okay, we got everybody and their brother following us now and we got monkeys so it's getting even better okay let's just get back to um, where we were and we'll move on and this is particularly of interest in a boss fight because typically boss fights are very difficult to get any kind of um you know uh setups ouch 
setups uh, built up on the enemy for how you uh, go about uh, engaging, you know, uh, any kind of stagger or any kind of uh, ability to uh, control the battlefield of the enemy. And for the butterfly, especially, this is very hard to do because of the fact that you have to constantly, constantly uh, figure out her position to you, and you have to try and understand, um, you know, where your openings are. And if you can just create those openings, um, then who cares, right? Because you're just creating everything of your own from scratch and that's what that's what this is designed to do is to make sure that you're always 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 generating your own openings and on bosses because it's so difficult to uh, damage their balance during a fight that typically you only get one maybe two staggers in a boss fight and it typically does not happen like when you want it to and such so here as we play through the butterfly uh, you'll notice that we will have more staggers than we normally would and we have them kind of on demand when we need to so pretty awesome okay good so she's staggered down already Let's go ahead and back off here a little bit and uh, heal up. There we go. Okay, let's oops okay so you can see that we we haven't really uh, had too much of a struggle here we're just simply uh, you know engaging her with all of our uh, regular attacks oh boy <laughs> and let's do that don't kill her, Louis. Okay, so you can see that we could have ended it there, but um, when you when you do the fight uh, and you continually over and over and over and over and over are staggering her, you saw that she was like bouncing around at certain points, um, and because she's slowed, uh, it gives us more time to repeat our uh, attack pattern, and because we can apply about every one second or so we can apply our weapon strike again uh, because we are using uh, the first strike attack pattern uh, pos uh, position uh, we can uh, make great use of that over and over and over okay and then we can stagger her uh, there and she's already down oh whoops that was a super bad uh, <laughs> engagement there let's go ahead and just heal up okay Yeah, we're just getting wrecked this time. <laughs> we're just healing a lot. We're getting killed a lot. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> I 
Oh man, but you can you can see that uh, if the pattern is bad, then you know things go bad very very fast. But that first that first fight we had, uh, we can consider that a win. But you can see that if you apply the uh, slow and you apply the first strike ability over and over and over, she staggers way more often than she normally would and uh, we, we get many, 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 many more opportunities to actually strike her than jumping around and dodging and doing all these things because we are constantly uh, engaging from a strong position of controlling what she is doing during each of the positions. Okay, so let's go for this. Okay. I mean, because Louie also has um, Firestorm, we are able to uh, really, really, really put on the pressure here very, very hard. There we go. And there's again what we talked about uh, from the first episode yesterday about the priority. Yep. I knew that was coming. <laughs> and once once you're into this healing uh, loop here, things get really bad. Oh, let's back up. Let's heal again. Okay. We have precision, so that's um, basically just um, a moment there to get... Uh, some kind of attack damage without going for uh, our one strikes. Okay, let's head around this way. Okay. Alright, there's another stagger because of Firestorm. Excellent. There's another stagger. There's another stagger. Oops. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, well, anyways, not pretty, not clean, but uh, the, the single strike attack over and over and over and over of using the blade, uh, using the blade only for the first attack is actually really strong, especially when you can mix in uh, some of these things, like using debuffs along the way to make your uh, single strike attack pattern much simpler, and it uh, really makes for a very different way to play your weapons of only concentrating on the very, very first attack strike. And you saw with this one, uh, you can make it... Uh, Whoops, you can make it go very, very, very fast. One, two. There you go. That's a, that's a very fast attack pattern for a two-handed sword. And if you can get that pattern and get the rhythm and feel it, uh, you know, kind of like the cool running saying, feel the rhythm, feel the ride, get them up, it's bobs bobsled time. So this time, you know, it's more like... Um, you know, feel the rhythm, feel the slam, and get them up, it's two-handed sword time, you know, and so if you, if you can get that timing, man, it applies status effects so much faster, and so much more damage is coming out, because the timing is speeding up your DPS, and so because the time is decreasing between attacks, your damage is basically going up for free, um, and it's, it's very hard to do, but it's very technical, technical in how to do that timing but uh once you get it it's a good feeling and you can do it over and over and over and over and over and over and it becomes a really really good way to uh, attack the ground and get a free application of impact wave all the time with a weapon that only has one attack on the ground instead of one one time always waiting uh it you know you have to make sure that you're moving in a direction. I prefer uh, backwards from the enemy because with this weapon, you're moving forward. As you can see there, 
her her moves with her feet are always uh, moving forward so if you are constantly going backwards uh, with in my case the s key and i go backwards from the enemy when i attack i go forwards and then i move back and then i go forward with the attack so um the it's it's a little bit technical there but uh once you get the feeling of the rhythm of how it goes then it becomes a very very fast attack pattern and when you're applying it with you know 25 percent more balance damage plus a slow effect plus an impact wave which is damaging their balance even more and then you have basically unlimited stamina because of serene stance and if you are constantly attacking you can always get back enough i -Core to use serene stance and you can just get the enemy in a loop so it's very very fun very very awesome to be able to do that so anyways thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow take care bye